Automation, very, very briefly on this, because a lot of good people are going to talk about this later on today. But this podio for us is the brain. That is the business. Everything is in there. The thinker at the top lobs the task in. The brain figures out who to send it to and delegates it with all of the information they need to that specialist or that team of specialists. One of the specialists in that team puts their hand up and they know as soon as they take that job off the table, they have, depending on the task, 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever it might be, to do that task. It's up to them now to be proactive and to alert the person requesting this job if they can't finish on time. Because the problem to begin with at the top here is, yeah, but, but what if? It's all of the project management load. And so most businesses that have a bunch of thinkers up here and a bunch of doers down here, they have this stack of middle management and project managers in the middle, and that's bloody expensive. By using automation well, you can actually remove a whole chunk of that. And this is your competitive advantage and a lot of profit that you're leaving on the table. So it gets delegated to the right place. They finish the work, send it back up, and notify this person. And again, management by exception, if that can't happen, people are going to get notified. If they do a crap job, it gets sent back to the silo, gets sent back to that team for someone else to do it. Three black marks, you're gone. We've obviously got a problem with our systems, with our training, so we need to improve our systems. So that shouldn't be happening. You do a fantastic job three times in a row, five times in a row, whatever it might be, we give them a little pay rise. And now they're a level two specialist and they can do more stuff. They get more flexibility. There's all sorts of ways that we're gamifying that now within the business. Does that make sense? And then the job really is just to keep adding more and more specialists. It's to keep breaking down those tasks into smaller and smaller chunks, add more specialists, make these guys as efficient as possible. This, I believe, for me, is my exponential organization. I believe I can have a core team up here of around 15 people in Melbourne and potentially down here hundreds, maybe thousands of doers that I can then rent out to other agencies around the world. Maybe your business, you can do the same sort of thing. As I say, we use Podio for the brain. Mm -hmm.